He's such an unusual human. You know when the super intelligent aliens come? Are they gonna be looking for you? Like, where is he? Hey, this is Warren Redlick. I'm here for my craziest video yet. I've had a lot of crazy ideas. I followed through on a lot of those crazy ideas. And some of them have turned out to be just crazy. But every once in a while, a crazy idea turns out to be pretty accurate or otherwise useful. So I'm making this crazy video because I can't get this crazy idea out of my head. So the basic idea is I think Elon Musk might be an alien. He might be either from another planet from another species, from outside the simulation, all kinds of crazy ideas. The idea behind Elon Musk being an alien comes down to this. If you look at everything he's done, he is at the very least superhuman. People have referred to him, Joe Rogan referred to him as the next stage of evolution, and I think that's an understatement. He's doing so many different things at the same time. It, it's, it's almost impossible like it i don't understand how he does it well he's the next stage of humanity yeah if, if people are evolving he's he's like looking at us from the next spot there are some extremely bright people that i've met in my life or that i've seen who look like they're the next stage of evolution and elon musk is way smarter and way more accomplished than any of those people that we already think are amazing and beyond belief so he's two or three levels of evolution up from where ordinary people are and at least one maybe two levels up from the brightest people we've ever seen in the world there was a comment what's really remarkable to me is 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 the breadth of his knowledge i mean i've met a lot of super super smart people but they're usually super super smart on one thing his ability to do that across all the different technologies that go into rockets and cars and everything else he does that's what really impresses me where he talked about how elon was he, like he knew some really smart people who were smart in one area but elon is smart in any area he looks at he's just smart all over he can go from rocket science to computer chips to the engineering of a car to brain science he can do all of it and that's you know just next level up stuff like multiple levels up and it's hard to explain how a single human could be capable of all of that. So that's where it starts, is this sort of idea that, wait a minute, maybe he's just too amazing for this to be human. The other thing that really comes into play with Elon Musk is he frequently makes references to the novels of Ian Banks and his culture series. They're all over everything Elon Musk does. The autonomous drone ships that the rockets land on are named after ships in Ian Banks' novels. He tweeted a picture of his coffee mug from Special Circumstances, which is really, really stunning. And he's repeatedly said that Ian Banks is his favorite author, that the Culture Series is his favorite series of books. The reason why that matters is because the culture series a very common theme in the culture series the idea is that there's this incredibly advanced civilization out in space called the culture which is pretty much led by artificial intelligence with humans along for the ride or humanoids along for the ride the startling idea or very common theme in some of the novels is that uh, the culture sends an agent from the special circumstances division. That's a, they take a humanoid who's part of the culture and they send this person down to a primitive planet to get involved in some way. So, and, and secretly, so the, the, the humanoid will take the appearance of a regular human, will be able to, and you know, they're, they're at their advanced technology. They can actually make that humanoid essentially whatever species they need them to be. Um, there's a lot of little details like Neuralink, which is an Elon Musk company, is working on something called, well, the Neuralink, a brain machine interface, which is tremendously, amazingly like something called Neural Lace that appears frequently in the Culture Series novels. It's a implant that goes into your brain and is able to Inter, uh, interact with your brain and have computers interact with your brain, store your brain information, 
uh, all kinds of amazing things. And it's very clear that that is what Elon Musk thinks Neuralink can do in the future. The special circumstances agents go down to a planet <clears throat> and they intervene in some way, usually in a relatively unobtrusive way, but they often become fairly important individuals in that society or they're connected to fairly important individuals in that society. And it really seems like Musk is doing something like that. Now, he's not introducing some alien technology, although he makes references to alien technology, like the current uh, powertrain for the Tesla Model S uh, Plaid powertrain that they're developing. The Plaid powertrain is like mind blowing, I think. This is like alien technology. It's insane. He frequently. It's not that he's bringing some new advanced alien technology like warp drive and making that available. It's that he's taking existing technologies and he's connecting people and technologies and bringing them together in ways that advance our civilization. And one wonders, well, why would an advanced civilization seek to do that? And there could be any number of reasons. I mean, if you're Imagining that we're in a simulation and we're all non-player characters of a sense and Elon is a player character. Uh, and one of them is what I call the NPC version. In, in that version, we're all simulated AI. We're like non-player characters or NPCs as we call them in the video game world. In the other version of the simulation hypothesis, which I call the RPG version, we exist outside of the simulation and we are playing roles. Um, then what he's doing, maybe he's doing this on 20 different worlds and he's trying to win some video game that he and his friends are playing in their mom's basement in some higher level of the, of the universe, some higher dimension of the universe. That's one crazy theory. Another theory that, you know, he keeps talking about trying to get us to Mars so that we're a multi-planetary species, so that the light of human consciousness will not be so easily extinguished, that it must be preserved. The, the sun is gradually getting hotter and bigger and over time the, the sun will um, expand and it will, it will overheat the earth. Consciousness is a very rare and precious thing and we should take whatever steps we can to preserve the light of consciousness. The window has been open only now and it might not stay open for long. There's some chance that window will not be open for long and I think we should become a multi planet civilization while that window is open. Mars could help Earth one day. We should really do our very best to become a multi-planet species and to extend consciousness beyond Earth. And we should do it now. <laughs> Thank you. And that's a really striking thing. And if you look at a lot of science fiction, like The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, another piece of fiction that Musk loves, there's this moment where the Vogons come and destroy the planet Earth to make way for some interstellar bypass or something like that. And I'm not suggesting the Vogons are coming, but an alien species could know that some cataclysmic event is coming to Earth fairly soon and that we need to move our species somewhere else so that our species would survive that cataclysm. And why the advanced species would care about us is a whole nother question, but it's very interesting that that is his focus is to get us to another planet, um, to get us onto Mars, to make us safe in case something goes wrong with the Earth. Um, so it seems like a lot of the things he's doing are taking existing technology that we already kind of have and helping us to advance that technology, not through, you know, here here's transparent aluminum, go ahead, uh, which was a from reference to a Star Trek episode, a uh, Star Trek movie. The idea that we can use that technology that he can put together all these technologies and move us ahead. So that's the theory. And the reason for this setting is I wanted to choose something a little creepier than usual. I don't know if this works or not, but I'm just trying something different. I think the idea that Elon Musk is an alien is striking. I think it makes a lot of sense that somehow, some way, um, it's just too good to be true that someone could be as smart and as accomplished as Elon Musk. There's things like, you know, he supposedly has worked 16 hours a day, 16 hour days from, you know, basically childhood or young adulthood for, you know, 20, 30 years, this guy has just worked nonstop. Um, he has comes up with amazing accomplishments that in, in multiple fields, um, you know, 
it's certainly possible, of course, and I, I would say it's probably likely. You know, my theory that Elon Musk is an alien or a player from a, the, from not, a player character from a simulation from some higher level dimension. Um, you know, those are obviously you know crazy ideas, but uh, and it's certainly possible. And the most likely explanation is he's just a really, really smart human who works really, really hard, and somehow he's able to sustain that. That's still by Occam's razor. That's still the most sense. That's still the most sensible explanation. But I genuinely believe there's a chance that Elon Musk is from the culture. Uh, he's a Marine-speaking special circumstances agent sound, sent down to Earth to help us in some subtle way, move us forward to the point where we're able to survive some kind of cataclysm or prevent us from destroying our own planet through CO2. I'm not a I'm not personally a big believer in the climate change hypothesis, but he is. Um, so maybe CO2 really is going to destroy our planet. And Elon Musk is trying to save us from that with Tesla's, you know, converting us to electric vehicles and solar energy. Um, I think we're just seeing some amazing stuff from him. And although I think the alien hypothesis, the theory that Elon Musk is an alien is crazy, in some ways it makes a lot more sense than the explanation that he's just a really smart human. That's my th my theory as to why I think Elon Musk is an alien. I should mention, I'm not the first person to suggest it, or I think most people who have suggested it are completely joking. There have been tweets from people in the past specifically saying he's a special circumstances agent. Um, again, kidding. And I do, by the way, recommend reading Ian Banks' novels, the Culture series. Starts with Consider Phlebas. Uh, just a lot of brilliant stuff. State of the art is one where a special circumstances agent comes down to earth. So, you know, like literally it's in there. Um, uh, player of games is really good. Use of weapons is really good. There's a lot of really good stuff in those novels. And I should, I should take a step back. We do know his personal life story is that he was born to May Musk, uh, in South Africa. So the argument that he's an alien is kind of compromised by the fact that he has a history of having been born to this family. I don't think that's automatically a deal breaker. Um, you know, if you buy into this higher level species that's capable of doing amazing things, then they could have inserted a neural lace into Elon Musk at a certain age and converted him into this amazing being or inserted an alien intelligence into his brain that's able to take advantage of his body and he might you know the the original Elon Musk might not even know what's happening or he might be in on it um, so there's any number of ways this could happen it doesn't mean that May Musk didn't give birth to Elon Musk uh, also a possible scenario too is that he was you know that the, the it's a fictional birth story but that seems kind of a stretch I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and thank you for listening and uh, please let me know what you think in the comments down below uh, if you think I'm crazy, tell me. I think I'm crazy too. Um, but tell me what you think. Tell me if you have any other ideas as to why we should conclude he's an alien or why you're confident he's not.